Have you ever had a situation that you look at your RV and then there's water leaks on the floor? For example, like this one here, and you can see it's kind of moldy there, and it's coming from this area. Now, as you know, we get one here, which is from the gutter where the AC drips. And so depending, we have it where water comes on all four sides, uh, but sometimes we get more of it here. But then we got this guy. There's no water. Well, here's the thing. I have really inspected this, and so this is the deal. What we got here is the water condensation or rain will hit on here, and it'll slide out. This is sealed. It's got uh, caulk on there. But this bracket here, the water will hit on here. That's not sealed. And the water would run down into this area. As you can see, that's a little bit of green there. And then it'll come down this way. And you can see how it's green there because water's trying to get in here. Now, one thing is that, uh, one thing is that this panel has weeping holes on the bottom. And I'll show you. See, there's got weeping holes. So that means that's good that if any water goes into this panel, it'll drain out of there. But you can see it's kind of moldy there. And as you can tell here, what's happening is, see the water? I don't know if you guys can see that. While this water drips down, it's in this area, it drips down here, goes down that way, and then it leaks there on the ground. So this is nice and sealed. So water is coming in through here, and it's a condensation. So how can we prevent this? Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and take this screw off. Just gotta take one. We're gonna slide this panel out, clean this real good. Then we're gonna go ahead and clean the door. And we're gonna caulk this area here. So we'll clean that out. So let's check it out. So I'm just gonna wet this rag here. Just use an awl, just to kinda Clean that in there real good like that. Get this crud right here. Look at that. So, and what I'm going to do is once I do this, and I'll show you what little technique that I'm going to do so the water makes sure it runs this way, not in that groove. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this to the side. Get a Phillips. So I'm gonna take that screw off. Now this screw is just, this is like a plastic stopper here, preventing from this door to slide out. That's all that is. We're gonna go ahead and take this off and try to slide this. Hopefully it comes out nice and easy. There it is. Boom. That's all this is. See that gunk right there? That's all the mold from the water just accumulating there. There you go. So I'm just going to clean it out. So that is, that's all this is. It's just a stopper. So I'm going to set this to the side. Make sure I don't lose my screw. So now I'm going to open the door and I'm going to slide her that way. So now you can see it. So you have this little trim here. That's what makes it pivot up and down. And so you see, I'm just gonna clean this. It's just gonna make it easier. And all I'm using is Simply Green. Get that at Home Depot. I'm just trying to clean it. I'm not sure if you can see this here. It's a little orangey. I'm gonna put this to the side now. 
and then clean this edge here. So it looks pretty good. I want to do is this. I got some WD-40. I'm just going to lubricate the aluminum inside here. It's actually this piece. I'm not going to spray it in here. I'm going to do it here. <coughs> just to have some type of lubrication. I'll just go ahead and spray it like this. Wipe it off. Just give it a little bit. Just a little bit of lubrication. That's all. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead I'm going to cock this edge. Once I cock this edge, I'm also going to do something else. We know there's a screw here. I'm going to put a bead of cock just here and a bead of cock over there. So if the water was to come, it, then it'll spill out over the door, not into this crack. So let me show you. What I'm using is uh, GE silicone acrylic. and. Uh, Normally, I would put tape to make it nice and neat, but I'm just going to put a bead and just keep wiping it down till there's a bead right in here. This will turn clear. I'm just going to use my finger, the old style way. And now I'm just going to take this and wipe it off. Wipe whatever excess. The little tiny bit over here that I kind of missed. So now what I want to do is create a bead here. That's it. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. That's how I created, just a, like a wall, if you want to say. So I'm creating a wall. If water was to come down and it was to slide there because I believe it's coming right through this corner, getting into the door and then sliding down. This way, I'm forcing the water to come onto the wall. As you know, water can travel in mysterious ways. I used to do waterfalls and it was interesting trying to find the leak and how the water would travel so the same thing here but it only makes sense that as you can see the water especially this morning i came by and i saw how the condensation was just coming down and then when i lifted the door there was condensation on the inside of the door too and it just happens you know living here in florida but what i'm going to do is put the door back Put that screw in i'll show you how it is and then i'll come back a few days later and record it to see if there's any more drops on the floor like we saw before so let me go ahead and slide the door back in carefully not to ruin my little art piece that i created and we'll go from there So now that piece will prevent it from sliding out. Just shape this guy a little bit better. There you go. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's not touching that. So it makes it nice and clear. So now what I'm going to do is wipe this down. See, so look at here. You see the towel getting all wet. You can see my towel getting all wet. So there's a nice puddle here. In fact, I'll try to clean that. See if we can see an improvement. So guys, I hope this helps. If you're trying to wonder where the world that leaks coming from and how to fix it, that's the best solution there is where you should see an improvement. But let's go ahead and Wait until tomorrow, and then we'll see how it goes. It's working like planned. You can see there's water right there that's coming down. And then it's coming over this spot. As you can see, it's dripping here now and there instead of the one corner that used to be right there. Remember, it used to be right here. 
So this is all nice and dry. And look at here, so that, that little thing that I put with the silicone has hardened. So that becomes like a dam, so the water won't go this way. And we can see here, there's the water, and then here. Guys, this is what you can do in order to stop the water from coming inside here. So now we won't get any mold in there. So I hope this helped. And we'll see you on the next one.